In today's video, folks, we are going to do a catch, clean, and cook. Here with my good buddy, Bearded Brad. You may be wondering, Brad, why do you have your bike with you? Well, let me just tell you, folks, I am not a big fan of walking a long ways, and we got a pretty decent walk uh, to our first fishing location. So I'm like, well, I'm going to bring my bike. So basically, this is a bike fishing, catch, clean, and cook. I don't have a bike. He's going to hoof it. <laughs> I so get lines on I did tell Brad to bring something like, you know, one wheel or a bike, but he didn't do it. <laughs> so Somebody send me a bike. <laughs> I, I am going to be at the fishing spot way before he is. At. This is the Walmart special right here, and it's caught a lot of fish, guys. Don't hate on the red. Eggs on the back, and I could have rode on the back and held <laughs> You are not legs. riding on my bike with me. There ain't no chance that that is happening, buddy. <laughs> we're just going to have some fun, go catch some fish. I love fishing this spot, all right? So we're just going to kind of do some exploring, and hey, we'll catch up with you here shortly. Look at this beautiful place, man. Sun hadn't even really started to come up yet. Bearded Brad's about a mile behind me. We got our own little fishing pier right here, which is where we're going to spend a whole bunch of our time. There he is. He's coming. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm rigging right here. Just got my pen fierce, 4,000, 15 pound braided line. I'm gonna throw a Meridine. The reason I'm gonna throw a Meridine is because there's a ton of live mullet in here and these fish feed on the mullet. And so I love throwing that little spended bait when there's a bunch of little finger mullet. I'm gonna keep an eye out for alligators. I have seen a bunch of gators and this is probably a gator trail right here. It didn't, it's pretty warm today. So there could definitely be a gator out. Oh, come on. Ooh, no, that was just a mullet. Just kidding. Brad's up on the pier. He has not caught anything yet. Ooh, oh, dang it. That was a stick. I thought I had a fish. That was a stick. All right, look, we got to break the ice here, folks. Oh, there he is. Fish on. We got him, Brad. There's, a, there's number one. Oh. Really, Brad? All right, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hey. We're doing a catch and cook today. All right, I don't want a big one for a catch and cook. So that's first fish of the day. Little Alabama LMB. I am gonna release him because I want one just a little bit bigger. We are gonna do a catch and cook, assuming that we get one a little bit bigger. Maybe Brad will get one, who knows? Ugh. There's gonna be one right there. Right there. Got one off the back. Got the monkey off our back, folks. That's that is a great sign. <clears throat> First fish of the morning. I just want one a hair a hair healthier than that one for my catch and cook. Oh, I got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. Come here, baby. Oh, that's him. That's him. Come here, baby. Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Brad? Is he bigger? Yeah, he's bigger for sure. Okay. He looked bigger when he first He did look bigger when he jumped. This little dude was kind of gill hooked, so I am going to keep him for the catch and cook. Now, in the state of Alabama, we'll let Bearded Brad tell you the regulations here. Yeah, in Alabama on the Fish Rules app, it says you can keep 10 per person, but there is no size limit, but you can't keep 10. Yeah. So we're, keep <laughs> we're keeping 20. We're not keeping 10 bass. We may keep two for the catch and cook. Well, let's keep it up here and see if we can do that again. That was cool. Hey, simmer, simmer. Oh, Brad's on. Guys, Brad's got a good one. Oh, no, I thought it was a good one. What'd you switch over to? Oh, yeah. All right, keep him. I think that one's bigger than yours. It is. Keep him for the catch and cook. There seems to be a few, few fish feeding right here. There he is. Oh, 
<laughs> Dang it. Dang it. I just lost one. All right, let's see if we can get it back in there and catch him this time. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, look at him. Dude, he just blew up on my bait and didn't miss it. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, that's a monster. Come here. <laughs> He's a great American fisherman. He can fish anywhere. Hey, little dude, you're the size of my Meridine. What are you doing? You're an ambitious little feller. I ain't mad about it, buddy. I love catching little bass like that. It's fun. What is interesting about this spot is that you can not only catch largemouth bass, but you can catch redfish, speckled trout. I've caught one of a, a really nice redfish yeah. here. Yeah, really nice. So it's really, this is like a saltwater lake. Brad, you need to get on that jerk bait with life, son. Yeah, I'm about to switch. Like you, you need to just get on with it. I wanted to try something different. There's another one. There's another one. Woohoo! Very next cast. This is awesome, man. I'm having a absolutely awesome time doing this, man. Yeah, so awesome. Hey, what is this? What in the world do I have? Holy cow. Oh, he came off. Guys, I had a bass that was hooked in the tail. <laughs> he came off. He was about the same size as the last one. Dude was hooked in the tail. Those snaps and fish? I, I, guess so i hadn't seen any big ones yet though like uh, yeah, switch baits again i think this is the mini clutch oh there he is there's another one he's back on it that's a good one there brad that may be the best fish of the day oh is that a red oh yeah that's a red fish dude check him out i actually cannot believe i just caught a red back oh, here nice. look at here dude Holy crap, look at those. You've colors. never seen a redfish that looked like that, have never. you? Never. Dang, man. That's the most unique redfish I've ever seen right there. Check out the colors. Uh, what was I? I told you those redfish back here. <laughs> that but is just awesome. look how beautiful that thing is right there. My goodness. All right, little buddy, we're going to release you. Man, that was freaking awesome. That was that the was most cool. beautiful redfish I've ever laid my eyes on right there. And I've caught hundreds and hundreds of redfish on this channel. Nothing compares to that thing was just like that. That was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And Brad snaked my spot as soon as I did it. He, like, Brad jumps over there to the corner. You got a video. <laughs> All right, let's try to do that again. All right, I know there are now we know there's some reds in here today. Yeah, I do. Okay. It is turning into a pretty good morning here, folks. What is that? Four or five bass and a redfish, and we're going to do a catch and cook LMB. One thing we have not caught this morning is any of the big bass, and I have caught three and four or five pounders in here before, and we're just not seeing those today, but that's okay. We're still having a good time. Well, Brad just caught him one down there. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. Oh, hey, there he is. I'm on. You've got to be kidding. I'm on. Oh. Just scoot him across the water like that. Dude. That might be the biggest one of the Have day. a day. We gonna head to the house right now. I'll show you the backyard pond. But apparently he's got you a back. He got a backyard pond that you didn't tell me about. And we're gonna cook up some of these LMBs that I have not had in a very long time. So let's go make it happen. Let's do it. Some of y'all may frown on me for cleaning and cooking this largemouth bass, but let me tell you, I grew up eating largemouth bass. I really like the taste of them. There are plenty of bass to go around, so I don't mind keeping one every now and then. I keep like two a year, y'all. That's it. We'll see. I've never had it before. What? Okay, that bearded Brad just said he's never had largemouth yeah. bass. Are you serious? Serious, I've never have had it. What? Bro, we got we'll a, we had a camp house on the Alabama River when I was a kid, and we used to catch and eat largemouth bass every day. All right, whoo. There you go, got some scales Careful in with the kitchen, nut. Brad. Doesn't look bad. No. 
kind of looks like that tilapia so, meat from South It's Florida. really not bad. All right, that's a nice fillet, and they're good fried. I like fri I like them fried. Which we are gonna fry these bad boys up in the air fryer. I just wish we had some bluegill and crappie to go with them. Looks like we're gonna bread these in Hooters breading. It's a new one for me, man. I'm married now, so I can't go to Hooters, so I bring it to my house. Guys, right, so we're gonna get this air fryer. We're gonna run it. We're running at 375. Guys, we don't know what the heck we're doing, okay? <laughs> Brad's been on Google the last five minutes, all right? So yep. we're just going to cook this up and see how it turns yep. out. Yep, we'll see what happens. Woo! Go see mama. Bro, what the heck? There's a french fry in there. <laughs> Good you gracious. Don't, don't you want a sign? No, I don't want a fry. I don't know about the air fryer. That looks a little sus. <sighs> we, I mean, we, we didn't have enough oil. Uh, it, it ended up being, I don't know, yeah. man. There's your french fry. I don't want that. I don't know, man. Is that flour? Like on the... Yeah. That's that's part of not dumping it in oil. You, I don't know. All right. That's our first... Go guys, comment below if you've ever fried fish in an air fryer. Yeah, that's my first go. About it. Do. I don't know if you're even supposed to do that, but we did it, okay? And it worked out okay. Let's go eat this sucker. From my experience, any freshwater fish has its own distinct flavor uh you know you can definitely tell a freshwater fish over saltwater fish even though we're still trying to figure out if that place we we're fishing is saltwater or freshwater we <laughs> right i got you a little yum yum sauce right there you can't beat fresh fried fish anyway i grew up eating bass so i like it what is this brad what you got over here for me brad a little, a little hot sauce is this carolina reaper <laughs> just try it i don't know if i want to <laughs> try it no <laughs> Oh, oh, no. I just barely touched that on the tip of my tongue. Mmm. Some good stuff, ain't it? How long has this French fry been in there? I dare you to eat that. That's like one of those that you find in your car seat, like three months after you've eaten at McDonald's, dude. It's, um... Dip that in yum yum. Dip oh. that in yum yum sauce and eat it. I don't really know when the last time it was. That is a lot on there. Go ahead with it. <clears throat> There's literally nothing there. It's just like. I know. I know. Straight Daddy. crunch. No, oh, I'm out of here. Brad started up popping open the white claws. That is my cue to leave. <laughs>